Guys, this is the Kia EV5. Now, it's the next electric Kia to come to Australia. It won't be here until around about the middle of the year, but Kia have given us a, a prototype. Well, it's, it's a pre-production car. So we're gonna give you a sneak peek of it today and tell you everything you need to know. Now, if you wanna find out all the news and read all the reviews, go to carsguide.com.au. Let's go. Let's talk design. Now the EV5 is like a mini EV9. Well actually it's, 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 it's not too mini, it's a mid-sized SUV, around about the same size as say a Kia Sportage, but it does have that big EV9's looks. It's got the smooth flat face, it's got the LED signature, it's got the blocky looks, the flat roofline and the wheels as well. Okay, getting into the cabin and the exterior blocky chiseled looks are carried into the cabin as well. Look how this has been like carved out in the dashboard here and these screens sort of like sit nestled into it. This is really, really EV9. I'm currently driving an EV9 long term and this cabin is very familiar. And one of the things I do like is how easy these controls are to use, like a real volume control knob for, for the stereo and, and real controls, like physical controls uh, for the climate as well. Now, check this out though. Now, on the concept of the EV5, they had this middle seat, like a bench seat, and it's made it through to, well, this is the pre-production one, but it will make it through to the cars that we get in Australia. Check it out. There's like, there's like an extra seat, but it's not a seat. Kia says you can't sit here, not even if you put a seatbelt on. It's, it's not for sitting. It's just for, maybe, maybe for sitting if, if you've parked and you, I don't know, you want to get a bit romantic, but that's, um, but yes, not for, don't, don't drive from there. Now, in terms of practicality, there's, amazing practicality. This is also similar to the EV9. You've got wireless charging here, you've got this massive storage area underneath, this floating center console with cup holders, you've got USB ports, door pockets the size of the pockets in a giant's jeans, they're enormous. And I need to show you the back as well because that is really good for headroom and legroom. Now, check out these seats. Also, look at this doorway. It's big, it's wide. The door opens quite wide as well. That high roof line means it's easy to get in and out. Now, in terms of legroom, that's ridiculously good. This is a mid-size SUV. I get into some and I'm like this. This is, this is really good and that's actually in my driving position. Headroom is also pretty darn good as well. And that's with the sunroof. Normally sunroofs bring down headroom, but there's no problems there at all. Now in terms of cabin storage, check this out. There's like a drawer. You could fit an entire shoe in there. Um, that's incredible. And there's this, a little tray table with your iPad or tablet holder there as well. It's also got big door pockets in the back too. And for the numerous cup holders there. All right, let me show you the boot. Now Kia haven't announce the actual volume specs, the cargo capacity, but this is a decent sized boot. You're probably looking at around about 400, 500 litres. Let me show you something else that's made it through from concept to production stage as well. And it's this, it's a handy picnic table um, or table for whatever you, you want it to be. Um, that's really cool as well. So is the other storage that's in here and there's storage on the side there, shelves in the back there and these seats also fold completely flat as well. It's quite good the way they do it. There's a bit which comes down like that. It's magnetic. So cargo capacity is unhindered as well. The EV5 also has a front boot. It's under the bonnet. Let's talk about price. Now, this is gonna be really interesting. The Kia EV9, the big seven seater SUV is quite expensive. It costs like a hundred grand. But this, this EV5 needs to be affordable. This needs to be mum and dad, average suburban affordable. It also needs to be around about the same price as a Tesla Model Y. That's the rival of the EV5. Tesla Model Y starts at around about $65,000. My thoughts are that this will be priced starting from about 55 or maybe $57,000 up to 
the top of the line. Now there are going to be three grades. So you're going to start with the air, that's the entry grade, then there's going to be the earth, and at the top of the range will be the GT line. Now prices and features haven't been announced as I've said, but you can expect all the things you'd get on say a Kia Sportage. So you'd get dual zone climate control, you get heated seats on the higher grades, um, you'll get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you'll get the double screens as well, and as you get further up you'll get nicer leather upholstery as well. Yes. When it comes to warranty, the EV5 will be covered by Kia's regular seven-year unlimited kilometre warranty. And when it comes to the batteries, they'll be covered by a seven-year warranty too, but it's only 150,000 kilometres. Yep, 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 everything's here. Oh, g'day. Yeah, look, the Kia EV5 will come with a choice of two batteries. There'll be a standard range, and a long range. And from the long range, you'll probably be able to get about 530 kilometers. Now, one thing I haven't told you yet is that EV5 is being made in China, okay? Which is really good in terms of our price and the availability and everything like that. But the batteries are as well. They're actually coming from BYD. Yep, build your dreams, that car company. They make batteries as well. And this battery is a special type of battery. It's a lithium iron phosphate one. And, ooh, ooh yeah. I can vouch for that, you can taste the phosphate. Yep. Oh, I've got to stop doing that. Oh. Let me talk to you about motors. Just a second. Ugh. Motors. Okay, let's talk motors. Now, there's gonna be a choice of one or two motors. That's right. If you choose one motor, it'll be front wheel drive. And if you choose two motors, you'll have all wheel drive. Now, in terms of advanced safety tech, it will have the lot. It'll have AUB, it'll have lane keeping assistance, it'll have rear cross traffic alert, it'll have blind spot warning, the lot. Now, this is the bit where we talk about driving and on a normal review, I would take you on a drive and I'd tell you what it's like, but because this is a pre-production car and it's also left-hand drive, we can't do that. But I can tell you, and this is really interesting, is that with this car, with the EV5, the local engineering team have done a lot of work with the people in Korea and China to come up with a suspension tune so that this car rides and handles on our unique Australian roads. So we've got quite different roads to the rest of the world and it's really important that you feel comfortable in your car on those roads. And Kia normally do this with all their cars and they've done this with this car as well. So there you have it, the Kia EV5, the next electric car that will come to Australia. It won't be here to the middle of the year, but I hope that's given you a sneak peek and help you find out everything you need to know so far. Now, of course, if you want to read all the reviews and stay up to date with all the news, go to carsguide.com.au. EV5.